Hey guys, it's Ty Kebab, and today, since it's Sunday, it may, it, well, it's Sunday for me, it's actually January 15th, I think, but it may be like February, you know, any of those months, any days of the week for you, but today it's actually Sunday, and on Sunday I do devotions, I do Bible stories, I do like gospels, prayer, anything like that, so today I'm going to be doing a devotion and a little verse, so. Um, and I was going to do like a kid, I was like, okay, so I'll do kids devotions, but then I know, I know some of my mom's friends watch this and adults watch it. So, um, I didn't want to do adult devotions because I know some of my friends watch it. And so I was like, I'll just do family devotions. I just found this in our little bookcase. It's, um, 365 family devotions, little visits, volume one, building faith for a lifetime. So I won't do these every single day of the week. Unless y'all want me to, so put it in the comments below. I'm trying to keep up. Um, ever since I started, I wanted to do things like this on Sunday, and I haven't been re really doing it. And today, I was like, oh, wait, I gotta do it. So, this is actually my very first one. So, let's go to January 15th. So, it's called, it's actually, yeah, January 15th. So, yeah. I'm not quite sure where we got this book, but I'm gonna read it. And there's like... Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in here. So it's called Learning from Clowns. A number of years ago, Jim led a small group of young people who became interested in clowning. They spent lots of time learning about the history of clowns and the types of clowns. They also went to watch some clowns in action. One of the most interesting things they learned was how to apply makeup to create a clown face. The base makeup that clowns put on is white makeup, white paint that covers the face. On top of the white paint, the clown adds many colors to create the look of the clown face. The faces were transformed or made to look different than before. When the young people were made up, were made up in their clown faces, they became different people. It wasn't just their faces that were different. They acted in new and different ways. They became like clowns. In today's Bible reading, Paul writes about a change in people who have received faith in Jesus by the work of the Holy Spirit. They are new. They are different. When we have faith, Christ lives in us and, and, old, and our old self dies. We no longer... Okay, I just gotta breathe. Whew, okay. We no longer want to live for ourselves. Instead, we want to live for Jesus and others. We became changed people. Jesus' love, Jesus' love and goodness cover our sinful selves, and a new self is created. So, read from God's Word. So, it's just got a little verse. I'm not going to pull up my Bible because it, like, it's got the verse and the number. So, But if you like to pull out your um, Bibles right now, it could be on your phone. Well, no, not on your phone because you're watching this. But, like, if you'd like to pull out your Bible, I'll give you a look, quick second. Um, it's Romans 8, 5 through 11. It can be any version. It doesn't say which version on here, but it can be any version. So, um, in a little bit when I say, like, a little Bible story, this is, um, this is NIV. I actually went at, like, at Bible camp. So, when you're, so, here we go. Those who lie. Those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what on that what that nature desires, but those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. You, however, are controlled not by the sinful nature, but by the Spirit. If the Spirit of God lives in you, and the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through the Spirit who lives in you. Romans 8, 5-11. So, yeah. So there's like little let's talk and let's pray. So let's talk. What makes new things special to you? How are you different because different because Christ lives in you? What kinds of things have you done that shows other show others you are God's new creation? So what make what makes new things special to you? New thing what makes new things special to me is just like how they're designed and created and how special they are and unique from different things. Um, how are you different because Christ lives in you, me? So how I am different is because he, he created me uniquely my own way and he, he has a plan for me and I'm going to, um, pursue, pursue and prosper that plan and I'm not going to get off the path. I don't think I'm answering this question correctly. Should have planned this out before I started. I didn't really think there was questions in here. What kinds of things have you done that show others you are God's new creation? Um, I've done, like, when I was little, I actually gave um, money to somebody. I'm not going to say their name because it might be, they might be a little shame, but I actually gave money and they were like, 
other kids but probably would just said okay here you go and then like tricked you but you were serious and we were both crying and my parents were very um glad about it and i like going to school and like if i if people feel down i'm like god loves you i love you and if nobody if you if you feel like nobody else here on earth loves you be sure that god loves you now for the let's pray if you could probably um repeat after me it says dear father in heaven how happy we are that you have made us new creations in your Son, Jesus. May our lives truly reflect his living in us. In Jesus' name, amen. So, I haven't really planned out. I was just like, okay, so I got to do this. And so I was like, I grabbed that devotion. I really haven't planned out what scripture to read. But I probably need to do that. I'm actually, I'm going to read John 10.10, because this is like one of my, me and mom's favorite verses, and so I was like, okay, let me just tell them this. You know what, actually, I'm going to read Mark 1.11, because as I said, if you don't feel like someone, if you don't feel loved, you know that God loves you, so this verse really helps. So if you're in your Bibles, could you please flip to Mark 111? And someone at my school also, um, they were thinking about, I'm not going to say names once again, um, that they're actually thinking of, they were had suicidal thoughts, and I um, wrote them a letter and said, God loves you, and I gave them this verse. And so if you feel like no one loves you, this verse will definitely tell you God loves you for sure. Mark 111, and this is um, NIV. And a voice come, came down from heaven, You are my son, who I, who... And a voice came down from heaven, You are my son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. So God's telling you and me and everyone right now in this world, in this verse, that a voice came down from heaven saying, You are my son or daughter. I'm his daughter. Who's ever watching this? Y'all are his sons and daughters. And, and he's very pleased with you. So, he has a plan for you. Don't try to, don't go the right path and then hit, hit, make a mistake and then get off of it. Stay on that um path. We all make mistakes, but God's very pleased with you. And, um yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the devotion and little verse today. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, whether Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, yeah, um I'm not going to be... And I also have to tell you something, guys. Um, I, I'm telling you this. I made a video a couple of days ago, and I'm posting it in February 3rd, maybe? I think. No, but I'm posting in February. It's um, I did it with my friend Olivia, so that's a little sneak peek. Um, and I also I told you guys this in this video. In that video, I'm going to tell you right now, um, I'm not posting my um, what I got for Christmas or Christmas haul, whatever you want to call it. It's because I've actually tried um, I've tried to post it over and over again, but it just goes so slow and stuff. And I don't want to post it now since it's so late into it because I feel like, and I feel really bad about doing that because you don't really, as a YouTuber, you need to stay up to date with your videos and when you say something that means you mean it and you need to do it so um i'm very sorry guys that you won't be able to see that video and um yeah so i'm sorry um but t next year i am definitely i'm not gonna wait till new year's day because i just get money on new year's day so that's really all i got um so i'll just do it christmas day or the day after christmas so yeah i'm sorry guys remember to subscribe like comment um, so subscribe for more. If you want to chat with me, put it in the comments below. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up. And share this with your friends. And let's gain some subscribers. And so, yeah. Remember, guys. Mark 111. And a voice came down from heaven saying, You are my son in whom I am well pleased. And remember, guys. Never let fear decide your fate.